Hi, we're Drs Chris and Kate from Ignite Chiropractic Centre. If you've just visited for your initial consultation, you might have been introduced to some new concepts about healthcare that you weren't previously aware of. If you came in with pain and we changed the conversation to talk about your nerve system and overall health, then this short video aims to put it all together for you. You see, the truth is that chiropractic isn't about pain or symptoms, it's about improving the function of your nervous system so that you're healthier in every way. In the process, we of course expect you to feel better, but chiropractic is about so much more than just pain relief. If you watch this video and you understand and appreciate our intention as your chiropractors, but you still only want pain relief without drugs or surgery, then we are more than happy to help you achieve that goal. To help you understand what our intentions are as your chiropractors, we need to start with a basic understanding of the chiropractic concept. Firstly, your nervous system which consists of your brain, spinal cord and nerves controls everything in your entire body. When your nervous system is functioning properly, without obstruction, your brain and body are able to communicate 100% and your body is self-healing, self-regulating and functioning the way that it was intended. Self-healing means that when you cut your arm, you are the one that heals you, not the band-aid or the stitches that you might get. Self-regulating means that this process, along with other systems in your body, happen automatically. For instance, your resting heart rate is typically 72 beats per minute, then when you exercise your heart rate goes way up, and then when you rest again it goes back down to 72 beats per minute. That's self-regulating. So in its normal state, your body is self-healing, self-regulating, and functioning properly. And if your body's functioning properly, then you've got the best chance of being healthy. When there's any type of nerve interference or damage called a subluxation that interrupts normal nerve flow similar to static on your mobile phone, you no longer function at 100% and your health and vitality are compromised. Subluxations are caused by your body's inability to handle the three major types of stress, which are physical, chemical and mental emotional. A common response to this is, but I don't feel stressed. Think of your body like a sponge, soaking up all of life's experiences. There's only so much that you can soak up before becoming saturated. Symptoms, poor health and dis-ease occur when your body is saturated and it's the accumulation of stress over time that gets stored physically in your body in the form of subluxations that we are concerned with. If left uncorrected, subluxations have devastating effects upon your health and well-being, leading to breakdown, malfunction and dis-ease which can occur with or without obvious symptoms. Our goal at Ignite Chiropractic is to locate and correct these subluxations or nerve interference and give you simple strategies to prevent their return in the future so that you can heal yourself on every level and have a better quality of life. It could be perceived that other healing professions are doing the same thing as chiropractors, but it's important to note that only chiropractors are trained to determine if you have subluxations and how to correct them safely and effectively. Now that's not to say that other similar professions don't have their place in healthcare. My point is that there is no substitution for chiropractic care for the correction of vertebral subluxations. Now we keep using this word subluxation, which is likely to be a word that you haven't heard before, and understandably it might cause a bit of confusion, so let's explain it in a bit more detail. Vertebral subluxation is the term given to a vertebra of your spine that has lost its normal function and alignment due to stress, and is interfering with the function of the nerves as they exit from your spine. To help explain this process, let's pretend that your body is one big electrical circuit. Now what happens when you overload a power outlet with too many appliances and turn them on? The fuse blows, which prevents the system from overloading and causing an explosion or a fire. Similarly, if your body has too much physical, chemical or emotional stress, your body has a defense mechanism that aims to prevent your nervous system from becoming overloaded and your body from shutting down. This is a subluxation, and if your body is unable to correct it on its own and reset the fuse, it can cause a host of further problems as there is no longer proper energy flow along those channels. And those channels could be going to your heart, lungs, stomach, legs, arms, or anywhere depending on which level of your spine is subluxated. Not only do subluxations cause nerve interference that can contribute to a variety of health issues, they can also cause local pain due to the dysfunction of the joint, which causes inflammation. When chiropractors adjust the dysfunctional joint to restore its motion, the inflammation is reduced and that's why chiropractic has developed the reputation for being so effective for neck and back pain. So we've mentioned that lifestyle stress over time causes subluxations and that the three categories are physical, chemical and mental emotional. Let's go through these in a bit more detail so you've got more of an idea what our bodies are constantly adapting to throughout our lives. Physical stress includes things like the birthing process, repetitive or poor postures, bodily changes for the pregnancy, a lack of exercise, previous slips and falls, accidents and trauma. Chemical stress refers to imbalances caused by anything that you put into your body such as medication, drugs, alcohol, environmental pollution, smoking, food preservatives or even nutritional deficiencies caused by your diet. 
Mental and emotional stress refers to things like stress at work or at school, relationship complications, anxiousness, and depression. Now this all probably sounds complicated and perhaps even unavoidable, but rest assured that we've put together a proactive guide to reduce all of these types of stress called Form, Fuel and Focus. Unfortunately, most people don't realise that they're meant to maintain the health of their spine and nerve system from birth. If you think about it, even the most natural of births causes a lot of stress and tension on a baby, especially right at the top of the neck. Once born, the baby will go on to crawling and walking with all of the slips and falls that accompany, and it's estimated that by the age of seven, a child will have fallen 2,500 times. Now everyone knows that they need to look after their teeth by brushing and flossing daily, and periodic checkups with their dentist from early in life. It's the same with your spine and nerve system with your chiropractor. Imagine the look on your dentist's face if you visited for the first time at the age of 40, or if you hadn't brushed for a year. Right now in Australia there is what's called a healthcare crisis. The number one killer in the country is cardiovascular disease, which is a very preventable lifestyle disease. It's estimated that 3.4 million Australians, which is one in every six people, have cardiovascular disease. Another concern is that 1,700 people die per year as a result of prescription drugs that are properly prescribed. Now these are just a couple of the reasons that we believe that prevention is so important. Now let's look at why there is currently a healthcare crisis. The issue comes from the traditional model of healthcare that the majority of our community is enrolled in, which in our opinion is really sick care instead of healthcare. And when you apply sick care to healthy people, you end up getting sick, dying and dead people. The underlying flaw behind this model is that the people are reactive as opposed to proactive regarding their health. They call their doctor when they're sick or they're showing symptoms. The best you can hope for in this situation is early detection. The unfortunate fact is that a lot of the time, the first symptom of a disease like cardiovascular disease is death. So the question to consider is whether the absence of symptoms means you are healthy. It's important to note that sick care and crisis care are very important services to our culture. However, they are not true health care. For instance, if I go skydiving and my parachute doesn't open in time and I manage to survive the fall, scoop me up and take me to hospital because that's a crisis that requires immediate medical attention. But once my bones have been stuffed back in and I've been sewn up, I'd rather go into more of a wellness-oriented approach in order to properly heal. It's also important to note that this is not about a specific profession, it's about the model. And as such, there can be medical doctors, chiropractors, osteopaths and naturopaths who practice in this reactive or sick care model. So there are two models of healthcare available. One is sick or disease care, and the other is health or wellness care. In disease care, we are figuring out what we have to do to survive, whether it's surgery or taking medications, compared to wellness care, where we are figuring out what we have to do to thrive such as exercise, get adjusted, or take dietary supplements. And we're moving towards something positive like optimal health, as opposed to moving away from something negative like disease and sickness. People with a wellness care mentality are proactive and empowered to be in control and are actively living their lives compared to the disease care model who are worried about becoming a victim and wait for symptoms before reacting. At the end of the day, this is a choice that everyone has to make for themselves. Unfortunately though, the majority of our community doesn't even realise that there's an alternative outside of the traditional disease care model. The fastest growing segment of our population is centenarians, which are people 100 years and over. Today's 100 year old's life expectancy when they were born was only 50 years of age. When a group of them were asked if they knew that they were going to live to 100, whether they would have treated themselves differently, the answer was an absolute yes. Now you may not think that you'll live to 100, but you may not actually have that much of a choice. If you do live to 100, would you like to have a decent quality of life when you get there? If you do, when do you think would be a good time to start looking after the health of your spine and your nerve system? One definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. We think it's time for a new approach to health and wellness. Research into healthcare over a seven year period demonstrated that people with a chiropractor as their primary healthcare physician demonstrated 60% less hospital admissions and days in hospital, 62% less surgeries, and 85% less pharmaceutical costs when compared with people utilizing the conventional medical approach. Another study showed that chiropractic patients, when compared with non patients of the same age, spent only 31% of the national average for healthcare services. The chiropractic patients of the study also experienced 50% fewer medical provider visits than their comparable peers. Dr. Henry Windsor from the USA conducted research between diseased organs and the spinal level where the nerves to those organs originates. 
After examining 221 human and animal cadavers, he found that there was nearly 100% correlation between minor curvatures of the spine and diseases of the internal organs. For example, all nine cases of misalignment in the mid-thoracic spine had stomach disease, and all 26 cases of lung disease had misalignments in the upper thoracic spine. So what would you experience if you were subluxated? Subluxations can lead to all sorts of health problems if left uncorrected. For example, what if you were subluxated and didn't have proper nerve supply to your head and neck? You may have headaches, neck pain, brain fog, memory problems, or disorders of the eyes, ears, nose, throat, or sinuses. If you had subluxations in your mid-back area, where nerves travel down to your digestive system and immune system organs, along with mid-back pain or shoulder pain, you may experience gas, bloating, or heartburn or you might have reduced immune system function and get sick quite frequently. If you had lower back subluxations where nerves travel down to your legs, reproductive organs, prostate, ovaries, uterus and bowels, along with low back pain, leg pain or numbness, you may also suffer from prostate problems, PMS, constipation or diarrhea. This illustrates just a few of the many problems that you might experience when you're subluxated. Now let's take a look at symptoms and whether they are good or bad. While symptoms are certainly not fun, they are very important they let us know that something's not right and that change is necessary. Let's pretend that you accidentally touch a red hot stove. Now if you didn't feel any pain then how would you know that your hand was burning? It would be the smell of smoke and if that was the case then your hand would be significantly burnt before you even realized that there was any damage. People who have symptoms often take action to remove the symptoms without addressing the underlying cause. It's the have a pain take a pill mindset. This kind of thinking is similar to hearing the smoke alarm going off in your house. Would you just pull out the battery from the alarm because you didn't like the sound, or would you locate the fire and put it out? Then why, when you have a pain, would you mask the pain with a pill without correcting the underlying cause and learning how to prevent the problem from returning again in the future? If we can correct your subluxations and show you how to quit recreating them in the future, you can expect to not only feel better, but prevent problems in the future because your brain and body are communicating properly. We can reverse the effects of the aging process, in other words help you to feel better in 5 years time than you do now. The other thing to note is that a healthy joint doesn't degenerate, so degeneration is not actually a normal sign of aging if you keep your joints healthy with chiropractic care. Our overall goal with these things in mind is to help you to enjoy a better quality of life. So in summary, we don't intend to simply mask your symptoms, we want to correct the cause. Then just as your dentist shows you how to brush and floss, we show you how to take care of your spine and nerve system to prevent subluxations in the future and perform routine checkups to make sure that your nervous system is free from subluxation or nerve interference. The chiropractors at Ignite are gentle, passionate and honest chiropractors. A common misconception is that adjustments are painful, so we need your help in letting our community know that that's not the case in our practice because we're trained in several techniques to cater for different people and their preferences. Another common misconception is that once you go to a chiropractor, you have to go forever. And this is also untrue in our practice, and there's no pressure to continue with regular care if you don't wish to. We are results driven, and we have nerve scanning technology to help us make sure that you're in the right place to get the care that you need, and make sure we're achieving results along the way. We appreciate that our feet are a major contributor to the health of our spine and nerve systems, so we also have gait scan technology to assess the function of your feet, and produce top quality and affordable orthotics if required. Now that you know this information, when do you think would be the best time to get checked for subluxations? The answer is as soon as you can. What would be even better is if you were checked soon after birth. And if we correct your subluxations, how long would you want to be free of subluxations for? Our guess is that it would be your whole life. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope that you've learnt more about healthcare and chiropractic that will enable you to make an informed decision about yours and your family's healthcare and we will support you with whatever decisions you make.